I'm Bob Mersman. I've been in this area for most of my life. Uh, I grew up over in the Sealy area and now uh, I live over in uh, Katy, but uh, this place where the uh, Manor House is and Titus Community is located is, is something that goes uh, back from the early 1960s when my grandparents lived here on this piece of property. After that, it was a uh, rent property for a number of years and then in 1997, uh, Pastor Dan and um, Bowden and our wives, uh, we developed or we um, founded the Titus Community. Well, I'm just excited about having this opportunity to um, talk about the New Star program at the Manor House and uh, to let people know, you know, what we offer here and, and how we want to be able to help men who are having problems with drugs and alcohol. It was really uh, through my son that I started thinking about uh, doing something to help young men who had made some bad choices. And uh, after uh, some trouble that he had gotten into, I decided, well, uh, I was going to put him into an apartment and uh, then I had some people that were involved with alcohol and drugs or Alcohols Anonymous to, um, to be able to start working with them and, and helping him out. Well then at the time, God put uh, Bob Mersman in my path. Uh, we were going to a little church called Faith Restoration Church and we were sharing our visions one day and decided to have dinner. and. Uh, we decided to go ahead and start with a men's ministry, which was the New Star program, which is housed in uh, the Manor House. And so I uh, brought my son out of the apartment, and then um, uh, there was another young man who came in, Bob's son, and that's pretty much how the New Star program started. The name of the program, we call it the New Star program, because we really believe that's what it's about. It is a, a new start. You know, all things are new. The old has passed away and the new has come. We are a new creation in Christ. Second Corinthians 5.17 says that, and that's really our main focus of, uh, you know, the ministry is to um, a changed life, a transformed life. And the only way that can take place is to, to do away with the old and the new comes. And so we focus on that and it is about uh, developing that personal relationship with God. It's living life the way God intended for us to live it. And that is uh, the only way that we believe that uh, transformation takes place. It's not just a person that has the addiction that's affected, the whole family is affected. And so they too need recovery and they need some healing. And so we want to do what we can to help them in that regard too because Ultimately, the desire and the goal is for the residents to return to their families, to return to society, to, to live the life that God intended for them to live and be productive and have a purposeful and meaningful life. In order for that to happen, the whole family has to uh, receive some healing and some recovery. And then that is the only way that that can be a lasting transformation. Well, my goals for Manna House is to try to be able to help as many individuals as we can to recover from alcohol and drugs and become a productive citizen again. Uh, we, our program is, is really a three-quarter house uh, where you know, the men are, they are not locked in. Uh, we want them to have employment and so as they go through our program going to work every day they're confronting the temptations that they normally would and so they have to use the tools that they are are learning to use here as they go through the program and so that's uh, we're excited about being able to help them to get back in their life to be that productive citizen to be the father the parent uh, the way he wants to be and the way he they, they all say they want to be when they come into this program and so what we want to do is provide them a place where it's, it's drug free and alcohol free and so that they can uh, live in the safety of that environment and uh, we provide their room, their board, their uh, curriculum, you know, and the teaching and all the teaching is uh, done by volunteers and uh, we have a, a meeting every night for the residents and many of the meetings are open to the public. We encourage outside people to come, participate, be a part of the ministry, and to uh, attend the meetings even. Once people have left the program, do they come back for a follow-up? 
Some do. Not all. Some move on and, and they, they will uh, stay involved in a program maybe in another part of the, the city. There's different programs that they can get involved in, but some do come back and, and come to our meetings uh, on, uh, weekly, not, maybe not every week, but they come back to stay in touch. What would you say to somebody today that, that found themselves in a position of having a drug or alcohol problem? Well, first of all, if, they, if they're starting to recognize that, then uh, they need to uh, get into a program. Now, we're a Christian recovery house. There's not many of those around. And uh, if that's something they're looking for, that spiritual relationship, uh, then they need to come and, and check out. There's other ones, but I need, like for ours, they need to come and, and, and visit us and, and check out our program. Come to some meetings and visit, and, and they can get a good feel for what we offer here. So, do you have any final thoughts? Yes, I, 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 sometimes, you know, you think that, uh, is it all worth it? Are we really doing any good? And, uh, but you know, it's when uh, a resident will stop by that you haven't seen for a long time and you were wondering how he was doing and he was, I'm doing great, you know. Uh, we had a, an individual that's cross-country truck driver and when he's back in town, you know, he'll stop by. But I remember him calling a, about a couple months ago and said, you know, Dan, I want to just tell you, and, and thanks everybody out there, the staff, that you saved my life. You know, and, and that really makes you feel it's, it's worth it. Then we had a, a, a Thanksgiving function going on here, and uh, I was talking to a lady as we were closing up, and she said, oh, you know, my son was, he was at her, uh, the program. I said, oh, yeah, well, how long? She said, well, three days. And he didn't last long, but she said it was too much uh, spiritual stuff for him and she said you know what now he's ministering so we plant the seed was planted he's only here three days so when we hear testimonies like that uh, what a I mean it just motivates you more that okay yes you know this is working and you know because a lot of times you you know guys come in here and you know, they don't stay long and it's just you know you think you know are we really doing it but when you see that happen those kind of testimonies it's worth all the all the heartaches and uh, that we've put into this program. We look forward to seeing you out at the uh, Titus community. Come by the coffee shop, the awakening as we call it, and uh, visit with us. Enjoy a cup of coffee and some good fellowship. Come to church uh, service on Sunday mornings and, and uh, hear Pastor Dan or someone else give it a, a good topical message. And also uh, you just come by and visit at any time. And anybody that uh, may be in the need of uh, recovery from drug and alcohol addictions, we do have the residential program here f for men over the age of 18. And it is Christian-based, and all our teaching and focuses upon developing a personal relationship with God, which we believe is the only way we can have true recovery anyway.